hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making a uh, watch holder box. Um, I should have all the stuff. It's going to be a decent sized project. It might be two parts. Who knows? It depends how long it's going to be. First thing, we got to cut the wood. Two by two piece of plywood. Um, this one's going to be able to hold Okay, so this, I got three of them. I didn't think how big I needed the box to be. I don't need it to be very big at all. It's only gonna be 10 by 10, so. Now we're going to sand the bottom and top. Okay, now we're going to take these and we're going to sand them down. Okay, so now we've got all them where they fit together. Where, so otherwise it would be like that. I don't look at it. Now it will fit together like that. It's nice in the corner. We're going to glue it all together and then once the base is together, we're going to put the green felt in. And then we'll... Uh, sorry, I guess it was my eye. Then we'll cut out the dividers and put them as well.
Okay, um, I'm gonna have to go in for the night. It's getting dark, it's getting late, it's... Almost four o'clock. Um, the first one didn't work out well. Uh, glue was taking too long to dry and it wasn't good. So uh, I started over and the second one's looking a lot better. I've cut channels. I don't have any examples, but I took the plywood. I've cut a small channel just big enough for this to slip in. We glue it in and then it's pressure fit and glued so it's harder to fall apart. Uh, some of it's drying right now. The rest, the sides I'll do tomorrow, the other sides, and then I think if I finish all that and there's no issue, I, be, I should be able to stain it the next weekend. Uh, I should be able to put the felt in and uh, later. The glue should be dry enough now. Um, I'm gonna get my orbiter, orbit sander and sand it all down and the top. Uh, and then stain it. This is gonna be a two part episode. Uh, the next video will be finishing it. This is taking about as long as I thought it would. Yeah, we're gonna sand it maybe stain it if we get it done should be able to stain it today and then next video we'll be putting the felt in making the spacers and then 
We're gonna make the spacers actually before we put the felt in. Um, but that will all happen next video. Um, this video should go out. August 3rd? Now we got a mark on this piece where we got to cut it so we can glue it in. I got to make two cuts on each of these, glue them in, and then I want to stain it today, but if not, I'll do it next week. This is going to be a two-part video anyways. This part will be up, should be up. It might be up on the 4th. Um, mark them, cut them. I'll use my Japanese pull saw. Because I don't feel like plugging this in. It's not necessary. It's just four small cuts. Okay, that is where we're gonna wrap up the part, uh, this video. Uh, I'll be back. The next video that comes out after this should be me finishing this project. Um, it's coming along well. We got all of the inserts in. All we have to do now is uh, put the, we gotta stain it first. Once it's stained, then we'll put the felt in and assemble it, finish the assembly and it will be done. Um, I might have to order something else because the locks I got might, might be too big for the wood that I ordered, or I mean, the wood I, I'm using. Might have to get uh, different locks, or might not have a lock on it at all. But it's coming along well. Um, looks good, it'll look even better when it's got all the green felt in, you won't even Right now there's glue and stuff everywhere, you won't be able to see that when the felt's in. Uh, and you won't be able to, s might not even be able to see it when I stain it. But that's for the next video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.